but I just don't think it's a massive disappointment if they don't win. Well, not massive disappointment, right? But that, that should be the expectation upon them right now. And you're using the context of last season versus this season. Let's spread out, let's expand that bubble a little bit to include other seasons because it's been many years for the Cowboys now where you believe and you think going into the season that they have the kind of pieces to make the kind of run they're making this year. Now, last year has its own issues specifically with injuries, but if you expand and you look past just that 4-12 and season, you've got a roster that was supposedly built for the now that should be competing at this level. And now you've got the introduction of a value quarterback as well, the same that we saw with the Seahawks, Seahawks a few years ago with Russell Wilson. They could be the Seahawks I mean, now, couldn't they? <laughs> Considering all of their flagrant, you know, their, their, their penalties. But anyway, you, if you expand that bubble, like the Cowboys' expectations are where they should be, which is Super Bowl. I just, I'm fascinated by the, the um, shift in conversation, the shift in expectations with the Cowboys. I started out this football season debating people like Stephen A. Smith over where they could win any random game on every weekend. Oh, the Cowboys surely will be undefeated, uh, have a, be a winless season. And now we're talking about whether or not losing the Super Bowl is a massive disappointment. I didn't I'm say happy. massive disappointment. You keep not introducing up to, that. Not living up to term. expectations. Right, you're right. You're, you're Cowboys are in that place now. You should feel good about this. The very fact that we're having this discussion. I feel good that the next, I will say this, I feel good that over the next five to 10 years, the Dallas Cowboys will be competing for Super Bowls the similar way they were in the 90s.